All right, so we just uh, just started the recording, so we haven't really uh, missed much in the recording part. I've started with a landing page creation tool that's called InstaPage. All right, InstaPage.com, and uh, now I'm going to show across how can we create across InstaPage, how can we create across landing page with the help of InstaPage. So uh, I hope you guys have accepted the invitation. It shows invitation pending. Are you accepted it? All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create across a dummy uh, landing page, guys, in front of you. And then we'll start with our uh, video marketing, the video ads, which we understood theoretically, but practical implementation is to be done across. Now over here, you'll also get this access, guys. You'll also get an option, uh, an option which says create a new page. You can click onto that. And there are several options which you'll get after clicking onto create a new page. Several options, as in three major options. It says pick a template or upload and .insta page file or scan an existing page. Now, uh, these two ones are not that oftenly used. You can start with pick a template, which works the best. There are several templates which you'll receive, which InstaPage offers across. Now, the moment I clicked on to pick a template, this is the next screen, guys, which came in. All right. Now, over here, what you can see, there are multiple landing pages. On the basis of your marketing objective also, you can filter down the landing pages. Are you looking only for a thank you page? Are you looking for a page where you're targeting for various clicks or you're promoting across a webinar, you're, you're, you've got a landing page, you want a landing page where two-step process, two-step uh, you know, uh, invitation and so forth is needed. Or you're looking for lead generation, you're looking at promoting across certain eBooks, a certain event, or maybe, maybe even a mobile app. That totally depends upon you. Now, uh, I'm picking and choosing. All right, so let me just, first of all, go ahead and give you a glimpse of what all different type of landing pages templates are over here. When we say template, I can pick and choose one of the templates and uh, we can make as many changes as we can. In terms of I can edit the, you know, the content, I can delete the existing content and place something over there. I can have similar content size, you know, font size, similar uh, content length. I can alter that also, I can, have, I can shorten it up, I can reduce it, I can increase it. Uh, whichever one really works the best for me. I have to make a decision accordingly on the basis of what I'm trying to promote. As you can see, these form fill-ups one are majorly in the lead generation. So if you're looking at generating more leads, this one would work the best. All right. And then I'm moving further down, giving you a glimpse of it. All right, so again, uh, something to do with landing page, something to do with reservations. Uh, now this is all about an event. So I, as you can see, there is a, there's a, what do you say, clock, a countdown thing, which is running over here. So this is uh, basically gonna be a dynamic thing where seconds will keep ticking and it will show the urgency that there is an urgency. Go ahead and buy across even this one has got a, so as you can see, these numbers 60, 23, 0, 53, and so forth, these are nothing but these are countdowns, hours, days, you know, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And it's asking the visitor to really go ahead and take an action immediately. This is a template of one of the thank you pages, all right? The thank you page templates are there. And several other things. So. All right, so I'm just moving further down a bit faster, and then we'll uh, create across a landing page on the basis of a landing page we have already in place. And that'll be a quick one. All right, so there are several templates, guys. There are several templates. 
Uh, give me a second. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick and choose. Let's say this particular template. All right, and I'm naming it this across as, let's say, digital marketing course. Just uh, I'm thinking across an example, or shall I take this one? All right, so I think uh, Ethan's degree college. So I think I can go with this one, that would make more sense. You can anytime go ahead and change this. But one second, I do not have, I think I've chosen the wrong one. So we're not going to promote across a webinar with this. You're looking at leads to be captured so i'm going to choose across a landing page which helps me do capture leads All right, so I'm picking and choosing this one. All right, so that's the name which I have uh, kept over here. Now what you will see over here with this particular landing page tool, guys, is that you do not need help of any designer or developer to do the job for you. You're gonna be on on your own. You don't have to rely on them. All right. No voice. Are you guys able to hear me now? All right, you are able to hear me. All right, perfect. I thought this is, I'm not audible. Okay, with that being said, now you can go ahead and change across things the way you want it, even the image which you want, the content which you want to choose, and all of these. Plus the responsive thing if I want to talk about, it helps me to go ahead and uh, shape up my landing page for the mobile also. So as you can see, this is mobile. I'm enabling this portion. Now here's the overview of how my landing page is gonna look like on a mobile mobile screen, all right? I can make changes to my landing page for both the devices and the responsiveness is very much there with it, okay? Oops, all right, I've just clicked onto the home page. I'm just gonna get into the page once again. So here's the page. All right, so I can uh, change the image and upload across, you know, the logo for this. And whatever we have got over here, we can we can get that set up, all right? We can add on more things and so forth, plus content right over here. I can edit this, I can edit all of these. I can add on more things. So when you click on to add new, it will give you option of inserting a video, inserting another form, inserting across certain social uh, icons. And if you want to embed across a slider also, that can be done with the help of HTML codes. All right any further image and so forth you want to embed across and so forth. That all can be done. Do you want me to go ahead and take this in detail or are you, are you good guys? 
you can explore this on your own i believe this won't take much of a time i mean this is this won't really uh, be of uh, any difficulty because it doesn't involve you can all right so let me show you what social icon i was trying to tell you the social social sharing the social sharing stuff is something like this now anyone who would be sharing across you'll get to know with these social sharing so social sharing button is what i was trying to recommend all right so the one which i always go for is something like this pretty small uh, you know simple enough and so forth now you can explore this guys on your own you can even do uh, what do you say optimization for this all right there is search engine optimization which can be done over here seo part you can put in across title keywords and meta description and so forth all right now what is a favicon let me tell you this favicon is a part favicon is this particular element this element which you're seeing over here this small image so for e themes the favicon is right up over here you can upload that part also if in case you feel that the content for this page is duplicate with another page you can uh, submit the page url which you want google to take into consideration and rank it and not rank this one so you know you can get into a duplicate content issue if you have same content on this landing page along with a web page which is on your website so canonical is actually used in that case i hope you guys remember meta description keywords and page title stuff if in case you always have the access to the recordings perfect all these things can be done you can even uh, get across conversion setup external conversion tracking if you remember there was this uh, google conversion code which i was talking about that you would have to set it up if you do not have a developer you can type in the conversion tracking code which google has given you right up over here all right the google tracking conversion the google conversion code which has to be entered across into the thank you page so for this page you won't set it up but for a thank you page you will go ahead and click on to settings click on to conversion goals and instead of form submission you will click on to external conversion tracking code and submit the uh, google conversion tracking code over here all right i can be more descriptive about it but i would request you to uh, you know just do your r and d do your research and development around this and once you'll have questions uh, you can let me know all right so as of now i'm saving this page chetanya you can any time use any page even this page if you want to for is you can use across uh, i mean both of you can use across this tool uh, is there a specific limit which you have received like 9 days trial or 10 days trial uh, or a 30 days trial any message anything in the message which have been told in the invitation email let me know if you have received any uh, time period 14 days all right so within 14 days try to so this tool actually doesn't even give uh, you know trial so i can i can give you 14 days trial now and i can give another 14 days to another particular page of uh, another particular email address of yours once you're done with all of this you can go ahead and publish your page guys you can publish your page on to your respective uh, what do you say domain now the, another thing is uh, chetanya which i would like to tell you this entire url is bit uh, messy so maybe you can ask the developer to actually go ahead and set it up and if you don't want to do it by the help of a developer you always have tools like these you can go ahead and click on to publish once you're done with that and uh, then all you have to do is if your website is on based on wordpress you can choose the publish option with wordpress if not then you can click on to custom domain if it's not a wordpress based website all you would have to do is you have to have you would have to mention the domain name and it will give you the settings what you need to enter over here right you just have to follow those instructions 
All right, so there are quite many things which you can work around uh, onto this. Now we'll start with a video campaign, guys. This is just a small extra add-on thing which I wanted to give you uh, about the landing page creation. Now this landing page, guys, is not necessarily going to be used across for Google search ads or Google video ads or Google display ads. You or maybe Google mobile apps. Uh, for mobile apps, yes, there would be another landing page, but you can promote these landing pages through other platforms also, whether it's with the help of social media, whether it's with the help of email, or whether it's uh, with the help of any other sort of promotional uh, digital marketing channel and so forth. All right, my pleasure. Perfect. So let's move on further, guys. I am using a cross Chaitanya's account to begin with. And Goresh says no audio. Is that so? Chaitanya, are you able to hear me? Or is it for both of you? Chaitanya can hear me. Goresh is not. Goresh, can you hear me now? All right, not sure why is this happening. Well, everything is fine at my end. All right, Goresh, you probably might have to then try re-logging in. All right, so I'm just gonna wait, Goresh, for you to re-log in a bit sooner. We'll start with the video campaign now. All right, so is there any uh, specific video URL Chitanya, which you want to give me, which we'll be using across all right, so you, have, you said you've already created a YouTube campaign. Let me just go ahead and see that. Okay, you got a couple of them, but you haven't really played them. Right? Am I correct? So, okay, I'm saying you have created a couple of video campaigns and uh, you haven't run them across, right? So I do, all right. So we'll, we'll create across right from the beginning. Or what I can do, I can use across Gore's account this time and create across, create across uh, a video campaign on his AdWords account, then you can really match whatever things I have done over there is is what similar to what you have done over here or not. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for Gorish. All right, so Gorish is right over here, I believe. Or just uh, Goresh, just let me know when you're able to hear me. Meanwhile, let me just check your video campaign. All right, so with this one, you don't have any ad group being set up. All right, so ads scheduling devices and so forth. These are the pretty easy stuff, right? We have covered all of this. Just looking at the ad part. Okay, you haven't created any ad underneath this particular video campaign. Let me check the other video campaign.
All right, so you've got one over here and So this is an in-stream ad, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, so you can link across your YouTube channel with AdWords if you've got the access. That'll give you more data. All right, so in terms of your video targeting, you have gone on to demographics and selected on the 18 to 24. And from interest, you have selected these portions. Right, so these settings were absolutely clear, right? You could have selected remarketing also. You already had a remarketing list, right? I'm just checking, I'm uh, not gonna make any changes. So, all right, so you do not have a remarketing list. The video remarketing list isn't there, but other remarketing list is there. So all the users, all right. So the remarketing overall, uh, okay, it's been set up for the other pages, but uh, the number is getting only shown, why the number is only getting shown for all the entire website is just because probably the other sections of your website do not have much amount of traffic. That's why. But once it's been implemented, it gets implemented for the entire website. We have seen in the previous session, how do we go ahead and create across multiple audience lists, right? I think you had a question last time that you want to show, showcase your ad in the remarketing section to only those who have been to, uh, what do you say, your landing page and have not submitted the form and another was that people have been to your landing page and have submitted the form. I think there were certain uh, rules that you wanted to set up, right? And we had that, set that up. Perfect, and on the basis of that, the remarketing list were there. Now you can even go ahead and uh, set up across video remarketing list. For video remarketing list, again, you have to go to the audience section and then create it across by connecting it with your YouTube. So you would have to connect across your YouTube account over here with the, with the Google AdWords account. All right, Goresh, just trying to check with you. Are you uh, able to hear me now? All right, so I'm going to the shared library section. All right, clicking on to audiences. All right, so what do you have to do in this case? for the video one, click on to plus remarketing list, then select across the YouTube users. All right, so I'm moving further. I think Goresh is not able to hear me, so I'm still, I'm continuing further then. Not sure what's the problem at his end.
All right. So what you have to do in this case is you have to link across your YouTube channel. All right, Gorish, perfect. Now, what you can do, you need to have, so do you have a YouTube channel, uh, Chaitanya? For, for e-themes? All right, so you don't, uh, you don't have the credentials you're saying, uh, but you can actually get that later on. Okay, I'm not looking into it then. You would need across the credential in order to link across your YouTube channel. Now what's gonna happen, your YouTube video ads would be shown across to those people who have seen your other videos. And again, over here also, you know the best part about video advertising is that you can create across the segmented list underneath video ads on the basis of people who have liked one of your video, people who have seen, uh, let's say, at least one video of your entire channel, people who have uh, commented on many or any one of your video, or people who have uh, liked, commented, shared your video. I mean, these are the kind of uh, small little things on, on the basis of the engagement, on the basis of the actions which people have done onto your videos. You can go ahead and segment, you can go ahead and target across a new video ad to be shown to them on the basis of what they have done in the past. So let's say somebody who even unsubscribes or subscribes. So that's another great way. So the moment somebody subscribes to your YouTube channel, you can show across a video ad to that particular individuals, all those set of individuals who have subscribed to your channel. You can show them, a, let's say a video ad which says, uh, thanks for subscribing to our channel uh, and blah, blah, we would like to offer you this much. Right, this thing and that thing. Somebody who has unsubscribed to your channel, who was already subscribed, someone who is already following your YouTube channel and uh, at one given point of time, let's say he or she decides to unfollow or, un or unsubscribe now, you can go ahead and target them also with remarketing. What would that mean is, you can create across another different, uh, what do you say, video ad, which talks about, which gives across a message related to you know, unsubscribing being done and, uh, and, and that will be a powerful message. That'll be a powerful message to that particular individual. Somebody who has been to your YouTube account, have subscribed to it, but later on unsubscribe who could be of, could be because of any specific reason, right? With that being said, we are, uh, we have understood the video remarketing part, uh, which can be done. You can go ahead and link your YouTube channel and then you can go ahead and uh, once that's been done, you can select all those different options the way we did with the display one. Now I'm using your account only then Chaitanya since Koresh's uh, overall audio part isn't there. So we'll start with creation of a new campaign and we'll, we'll create multiple video ads over here. And these multiple video ads are gonna be the in-stream ads, the video discovery ad, and also the bumper ad. But for bumper ad, do you remember the duration? So last time I had shared across. Oh, you got a two minutes, 52 seconds long video all right so bumper ads we might not be able to check but it's just that with bumper ads and video uh in stream ads we did understood what is the overall difference if you guys remember i'm going to share this document right now straight away and all right so here were the differences if you remember guys So if you remember, these are the differences which we spoke about. If you are able to create across in-stream ads, which are the skippable ads, 
you can anytime create a cross feed bumper ads also right the bumper ads are these 6 second video ads let me go ahead and share this document with each one of you give me a second then there's another document which i created in the morning i can share this one also with you All right, so I'm sharing across a couple of documents, guys. This one is actually about some more basic stuff which we have covered in the morning. All right, uh, okay, I not I will not share this one. It might really confuse you. Okay, forget about this one. I'm just sharing across the YouTube one, and I'm doing it right now so that I it doesn't really skip from my memory later on. Guys, you would have to help me with your email addresses once again, both of you. All right, so Goresh might not be able to hear me. Chitanya, you would have to help me with your. All right, so I'm sending it right away so that uh, all right, so it's All right, so I think Goresh is in here, so I'm sending it across the YouTube doc, the YouTube advertising doc. All right, so it's getting uploaded. The moment it'll get done, I'll, I'll send it across to you guys. Okay, now we'll go ahead and set up across a video advertisement. All right, so I'm clicked on to campaigns tab. Clicking on to plus new campaign and this time it's a video one. All right, so I'm gonna name it across as a test video campaign. You can anytime go ahead and delete this also because uh, you know, you've got already a couple of them, uh, Chaitanya, in your account. So you can uh, pause this or delete this at a later stage. So test video campaign is the name which I'm giving it across. Now the type is going to be video and it's a standard one. Uh, if you're looking at shopping ads or mobile app installs, you can select the other options. So we're going with standard one. Now since you've got a couple of uh, video campaigns already set up, so that's why this option is live right now it says existing video campaign all right existing video you can load settings from your existing video campaigns if you want to if you don't want to do that extra work of uh, 
putting across putting across all those settings options once again you can uh, copy paste the settings from a different from a different uh, what do you say video campaign into your campaign all right but we don't want to do this so that's why we're not selecting this and the first option guys is the in stream or the video discovery i hope you remember the difference between these three in stream video discovery ads and the bumper ads the in stream and the bumper ads overall so it was you want to do a recap of it or are you are you good with it let me know it's atanya since you are the only one who is able to hear me do you want to do a small recap of what was the difference between in stream and the bumper ads and in stream and the video discovery ad what were those all right i'll just go ahead and open across that same document and we'll do a small recap that will make you recall one second All right. So, just to do a small recap, there are three major forms of video advertising done with the help of YouTube. One is the in-stream video ads. The other is the video discovery. But they are both clubbed together in the video panel, which we saw just now. And the third one is the bumper ads. We are starting with in-stream ads, which we understood last time. The in-stream ads are. I've got different names to it. either it's called a pre roll ad skippable ad or in stream ads right the pre roll or skippable why is it being called because it runs before the actual video is being played right this is a ad which runs before the actual video is being played across right the skippable one if you remember the skippable one right and i hope you remember the skippable functionality comes in after 5 seconds only after 5 seconds and now do you remember what is the payment for how do we really pay for them so there was this rule on the basis of which we as an advertiser pay to google for these in stream ads or the pre roll ads and so forth all right okay so there are chats underneath right uh, okay so uh, not 20 seconds it was 30 seconds on the basis of this 30 second rule so i'll just show you once again another thing was that it does come along with a companion banner this in stream ad right companion banner and a link to the landing page right these are some of the examples the overall pricing funda for the in stream ad works across on the 30 second rule the 30 second rule says that your video ad uh till the time it's not been watched either full if it's less than 30 seconds or if it's not watched at least 30 seconds if the video ad in in terms of the duration is more than 30 seconds so we taken two scenarios we took two scenarios to understand understand this part guys the two scenarios were one second i'm just going to make it move to the other page all right perfect so first scenario guys uh for that for understanding that 30 second rule was that if your video ad let's say is for 35 seconds uh which is which is uh, nothing but your ad is greater than or equal to 30 seconds in that kind of scenario then what is going to be the pricing mechanism in that case i did tell you that if your video ad in such kind of in such kind of a scenario in one of in one of the for one of the viewers it's watched for 25 seconds and then it's skipped then we as an advertiser will not pay any price 25 seconds it's been watched and then skipped no cost 20 watched for 29 seconds and then skipped again no cost uh 6 second uh watched for 6 seconds and no and then skipped across no cost again all right but let's say if the video ad is 
watched for 30 seconds or maybe more than that, then there is going to be a cost per view. There's going to be a cost per view. Make sense? Hope that helps you recall that. So this was about a scenario when your video ad is 30 seconds or more than that, or right, the duration of your video ad. Now let's say scenario two, when your video ad is for, the duration of your video ad is for uh, less than 30 seconds. In this example, we have taken 28 seconds. Now, in this scenario, you as an advertiser will only pay when your video ad is watched across for lesser than these, right? Lesser, lesser seconds than these ones. So if it's 28 seconds, your video ad is watched, let's say for 25, 26, 27, even one second lesser, you will not be paying even a single penny. The moment it touches the full length, which is 28 seconds, then only you'll be paying across. Then only you'll be paying across a particular amount, which is gonna be the cost per view. Hope that helps. Any questions you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so that I can go ahead and answer that respectively. Are we good, Chaitanya? All right, perfect. Now the next thing is, YouTube True View bumper, all right, so bumper ad is gonna come later on. Okay, bumper ad, okay, why I've taken bumper ads prior is just because there is hardly any difference. There are very small differences between a bumper ad and a true view in stream ad. So one was a true view in stream ad. The other form of an ad which YouTube allows is the video discovery. Both these options are actually clubbed in one. All right. But uh, we can use both of them differently. We can use both of them differently. All right. So... What I'm gonna do right now, one second. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, instead of talking about the video discovery, we'll, we'll start with, we'll start with a bumper ad, because like I said, bumper ad and also the in-stream ad doesn't have much of a difference. There are only very uh, small differences. There are very, very uh, small differences which are there. So the bumper ad guys is the second option which you have to look for. And as you can see, it says a bumper ad is a short video ad that plays before, during or after another video on the YouTube or the display network. All right, either on the YouTube or on the display network it's gonna be played across. Okay, now with that being said, uh, also I would like to tell you it's a, uh, six second video ad only guys which is allowed not more than that so either less than six second or six second is the only uh, length of the video which is allowed plus the pricing mechanism the pricing mechanism which is uh, there with uh, bumper ads is cpm cost per thousand impressions all right cost per thousand impressions So every time your video ad is going to be shown across for thousand times, there would be a certain price which would be paid across. Whereas with the previous one, the previous, uh, what do you say? Ad type, which was the in-stream ad, it was cost per view, right? It was cost per view, which was there over here. So every time that 30 second rule was being applied, a video was being, a, a, a view was being calculated, 
a view was uh, whether a view had happened or not right and then after that a particular price of a view was being deducted across from the advertiser found over here it's cost per thousand impressions right so we will be paying across a certain amount a certain money for every thousand times the ad has been displayed so you go ahead and bid across with this bid on cpm basis so if i have put in across my bid of uh, $1 cpm it means i'm either going to pay $1 for thousand impressions or i'm going to pay less than that all right i hope you guys remember in the search ads in the search ads we understood that the bidding amount and the actual cost per click amount are two different things do you guys remember that all right so it's only chetanya who's able to hear me all right so chetanya i hope you are able to recall the bumper ads all right thanks chetanya for acknowledging now here are the various differences which we uh, understood with regards to bumper ads and also the in stream ads in stream ads are also called pre roll or skippable ads bumper ads are very much like in stream pre roll ads but there are a uh, couple of majors not i would say couple there are there are few major differences between bumper ad and in stream ad and here they are the point of differentiation is first is the length of the video the in stream ad has uh, got with in stream ad you can post across any video ad which has got no limit whereas with the bumper ad it's 6 second or less than that only that length of the video is allowed right now with the uh, with regards to where the ad will appear the in stream video ad will appear before an actual video gets played across right before an actual video gets played across which that's the reason why they are called pre roll ad guys right so video ads always appear before the actual video gets played and with the bumper ad the video ad appears either before or in between or after the actual video is being played all right all right so gorish i have already shared all right so i guess i have i have sent all right so with regards to the where the ad will appear in stream ads are only appear they do only appear on before the before an actual video gets played whereas with the bumper ads it's not only before the actual video before any specific video it appears across on various different places it appears across in the middle part it appears across in the what do you say all right it appears across in the middle of the video it appears across in the uh, end of the video before the video and so forth all right so that's our number 2 point of differentiation the number 3 skippable functionality all right now the in stream ads these ads are skippable by viewer only after 5 seconds of the only after 5 seconds of the video has been watched so this these ones are skippable the in stream ads are skippable but the bumper ads are not skippable and the ones which are skippable which are in stream they are skippable only after 5 seconds all right now the pricing and the bidding part with regards to bidding bidding is done over here on the basis of cpv basis the cost per view right the cost per view basis whereas the bumper ads are uh, with bumper ads it's to do with the cost per thousand impressions right cost per thousand impressions is the bidding mechanism over here now the other thing is how many of these ads appear within one video the in stream ads if we try to talk about how many of those appear across on within one video well in stream ads they will appear only once which is before the actual video whereas the 6 second video ad can be multiple ones within a specific actual video it because the placements are also like you know they can appear in the middle in the uh, at the end before the video and so forth 
all right so i hope that may that recalls that helps you recall what was bumper ads now the third form the third form of video ad is the video discovery ad now the video discovery ad we spoke about that uh, it helps in uh, showcasing your video ad at several other places or onto youtube the one is the first the very first one is the related video ad example which i told you if somebody is watching across any sort of a video and your ad the video ad come can appear like in this section your video ad can appear on the right hand side all right so this is one all right related videos video discovery ad is another one which is over here so there is a specific video so this is a related this one this one you're saying right this is a related video ad which is underneath of video discovery a video discovery ad the banner ad is also a video discovery which i'm going to talk about this is a video discovery overlay ad so video discovery has got four options so the very first one is the related video which is over here and this one is called the video discovery uh what do you say video discovery overlay ad video discovery overlay ad that's another one all right so that's going to be the next part now this is the next portion the overlay ad which i was talking about which you were asking me so this video discovery so this comes under video discovery only this banner ad this banner ad comes under video discovery only and it's called the uh, overlay ad that's the other name that's the other name which is given to it all right so there are two major forms of video discovery which i have spoken right now this is another example of video discovery which you can see over here right which is the banner ads now the other portion of video discovery so there are four major smaller options underneath the video discovery sub categorization basically so the third form of video discovery after that banner one and also the related video is the one which comes in the search engine results in the search engine results now in the search engine results of youtube when you do get to see an ad like this with an ad symbol that also gets prepared by advertisers by getting into the video discovery option you have to go to the video discovery option and then create it across all right hope that makes sense now the fourth one underneath the video discovery so this is again the video discovery ad an ad with a headline with a description line with a thumbnail so headline description and also the thumbnail these are the elements these are the major elements right these are the major elements right the fourth part after the one which is for the video discovery ad the third one was the one which comes in the search results the fourth one is the one which comes on to third party websites which is the partner websites which are part of the display network so on any different website on any website which is which is partnered across which is partnered across with what do you say google with the help of google adsense right your video ad can show can be shown over there right that part is something which we have covered earlier on also so let's move on further and try to create a cross all right so let's move ahead and try to create a cross a video campaign which we are doing so we'll start with an in stream or a video discovery ad now these are pretty easy in terms of creating it the targeting options are pretty much clear to you it's just that uh, 
you were supposed to know all these three options. All right, shall we, shall we create this after taking a break? So we can go for a break right now and then after the break we'll uh, create it with full fresh poles. All right. So we'll take a break right now for 20 minutes and then after the break we'll uh, move ahead with creation of the video app. All right, perfect. I'm putting myself onto mute. All right, so Goresh says in stream is equal to overlay. No, in stream is not equal to overlay and not discovery. You're, you're confused. All right, so I'm putting myself onto mute and then after the break, we'll take it further from there.
All right, so let's get started after the break, guys. Just trying to check if you can hear me. Chaitanya and Gorish. Can you guys hear me? Just trying to check. All right, thanks, Chaitanya. And how about you, Gorish? Uh, I'll just type in a class for Gorish. All right, audio is on now. All right, perfect. That's great, Karish. And uh, sorry, I did spell out your name uh, wrong in the chat. So it's G O U R E S H. All right, so let's move further. So we were creating across the very first campaign, uh, which was. Which was the in stream ad, which we're going to create across, right? In stream of the video discovery ad, that's what we have chosen across. Now, the next thing, guys, is the bidding part. So, bidding, do you want to do it manually? Or uh, there is no automatic option over here. So, we can set up, there's only one option, which is maximum CPV. All right, so we'll move ahead with this. Then comes in the budget option, which we can keep across. Anything, any particular amount, delivery method also you are aware of what exactly delivery method is all about, standard or accelerated, whichever one you want to go with, right? So if you want to go ahead and evenly distribute across your budget throughout the day, you can uh, choose it across standard or if you want to just consume in this particular piece of stuff in an accelerated fashion, you can do that too. The next thing is the networks. Now when we talk about network, uh, do we want to show across or add on to the YouTube search? All right. Now, YouTube search part comes only for the video discovery. If you remember, video underneath video discovery, there were four smaller options, right? The smaller four options had the search, the, the advertisement which comes underneath the video search results. That's where this option comes in. And YouTube videos holds very much true for the in stream ads, which is the pre roll ads, which we are starting with. So, there are two options combined together over here, but we'll concentrate on in-stream only to begin with, not on video discovery. But uh, whichever one you want to start with initially, you have to choose in this option only. Then do you want to show across your uh, video ad onto video partner sites, which are part of the Google Display Network? If that's what, then you can choose in across this option, which is video partners on the Display Network. All right. Now let's move further. Then the next thing, guys, is the location. You guys are aware about this, about the location stuff. I'm just uh, going ahead and. Selecting across one of those. All right, so I've selected Hyderabad. All right. And then I'm moving further languages you guys are aware of. Now these options are also known to you the all these uh, audio the oh, sorry the campaign settings option right what for what operating system for what mobile mobile devices and for what all wi-fi and so forth did you see this in in the display campaign i believe you guys remember that right so i can go ahead and pick and choose or as you remember that so i can pick and choose uh you know people with specific devices with specific uh, operating system I can do my settings according to that. So it's, it's very much the same. The targeting options are pretty much the same the way we understood across the display campaigns. Uh, similarly over here, in terms of the bid debt adjustments, uh, we can go ahead and increase our mobile bid, the tablet the bid or computer bid by certain percentage if we wish to. And this is gonna be a percentage increase in the bid, taking the default bid as the base bid. The default bid, which we'll enter across, with, which is going to be in the next stage, while we will, while we'll be on the ad group, right? After the campaign, we'll be on the ad group page, 
over there, we will be able to mention across our default bid. Let's say my default bid, which I want to enter across is 10 Indian rupees. So that would be my default bid. But let's say I want to put in across an increase in my bid percentage to be 20% and let's say 10%. So automatically my bid would be taken as 12 Indian rupees because it's an increase in 20%. And again, 12 Indian rupees because it's again 20%. And this one for computer, it would be 11 rupees. All right. Now we can go in and make these adjustments if we wish to. If not, we can let it blank. The other option is scheduling uh, of the ads, the start date and the end date. When do I want the ad to start and when do I want the ad to stop and so forth. All right. So you guys are aware of that, even ad delivery. So I'm not moving further with that. I'm not talking more about it. I'm clicking on to save and continue. All right, so I'm also placing this across as a test ad group. Chaitanya, you can anytime go ahead and pause this campaign or delete this campaign. Now, can I get, uh, can I get a specific video ad URL of your YouTube video ad or a YouTube video that you would like to showcase across as a video, a video ad. All right, thanks, uh, Chitanya. I'll just go ahead and use this. All right, it's an impressive one. I enjoyed the uh, one minute, 20 seconds of this particular video. I'm going back to the AdWords account. All right, so here we have to go ahead and submit across the URL, all right, of the video which we want to showcase across as our advertisement. Now you can see the dissection of in-stream or a video discovery comes in over here, all right? The bumper ad option is not uh, available because that's a second category. And in the first category, we had in-stream or video. And at the ad group level, now we can make a further distinction whether we want to create a, an in-stream ad to begin with or a video ad. So I'm clicking on to in-stream ad first. Now what you can see over here, the 30 second rule guys, if, uh, which we were talking about. The third, one second. So I'm just gonna take a snapshot of this. So here's this 30 second rule guys, which we were talking about. It's mentioned right over here also. The 30 second rule says for in-stream, it says your in-stream video ad plays before another video on either YouTube or the Google display network, depending on network settings. Viewers can choose to skip your ad after a few seconds. Then when it says few seconds, it's five seconds, five seconds only. You pay when a viewer watches 30 seconds of your video or the duration if it's shorter than the 30 seconds or engages with your video, whichever comes first. All right, I'm just gonna take this screen grab. 
and place it in my document again, which is with respect to All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in across more information which Google is asking us with regards to what display URL. So display URL is something which is gonna come over here. What do I wanna show across? And which particular page do I want to, want people to really land onto? So let's say this is my landing page. My landing page URL, I'm going ahead and copying it across. Now whosoever will click onto my video ad, you know, the display URL or the, it's on the ad, he or she will land onto the landing page, all right? So I've got, I'm putting across the final URL, which is the landing page URL right over here. Now the display URL, guys, uh, is something which will appear over here and I can go ahead and change across uh, the URL formation over here, but the main domain name which is ethames.ac.in that's something which i cannot change rest i can so let's say whatever i want to put in across over here it's a what do we put what should we put across over here it's a admission open for two it's a degree college all right so we can mention that All right, so this is just a URL, guys, which I have, uh, which is not a actual web page URL. So this URL, which we which has got formed over here, this is just for the purpose of displaying it across. Okay. Now the next thing is companion banner, guys. All right. Now the advanced option you can forget over here as of now. We're not covering that part. The companion banner, guys, is the banner which comes on the right hand side when your video ad will be played across before an actual video gets played. Before an actual video gets played, your video ad will be accompanied with a companion banner. This companion banner thing is going to have, uh, I mean, it's going to uh, be created either by us, all right? So if you want to upload it, create it on your own and upload it across, then these are the dimensions, guys. These are the dimensions for companion banner, which is 300 by 60 pixel and maximum size is 150. Now you would be only paying for the click, which will happen across uh, for the viewer, for the view, which will happen across over here, whatever view, right? The, on the cost per view basis, but you won't be paying across uh, for a click, which will happen. Now over here, uh, if you, there's another option, if you do not want to create, create across uh, something on your own, and you want Google to do that part, you can click on to use your auto-generated image. Now what Google will do, Google will automatically pull out certain snapshots from your existing video and will place it across as a companion banner over here. The way uh, it was there for a specific ad, let me just open that across. So companion banner, all right, so this was an ad from Amul, all right, Amul brand, and this is the companion banner. So somehow the snapshots, some of the snapshots from within the video ad have been taken and have been placed across in the companion banner automatically. So even Amul hasn't really chosen that option of creating companion banner on its own. It has uh, used the automated feature. It has used that feature where it is asking Google to, you know, auto generate it. So auto generation part has been taken over, uh, has been chosen across by, uh, Amul, how do I know that? Because it's showcasing me the seconds. You know, at this particular second, this is a snapshot. At this particular second of the video, this is a snapshot and so forth. Now, the other option is with this also with Patanjali, even this companion banner, which you're seeing over here, this is also with the, this is also uh, created with the help of auto-generate option. It's not being created on your own. If these seconds thing will not be there, then, then it means that it's uh, not being auto-generated. And this, for this particular one, there's no companion banner. 
but most of the time companion banner does come in across guys and it's it's adding to more i would say designing to your entire youtube page right so your ad is getting shown in the player plus it's also your banner your brand's banner is also getting shown on the right hand side so it's occupying more real estate of the page so that always helps now i can put across a name for the video or the ad basically i can flow up punch in across as many video ads as i can underneath one particular ad group now comes in the bidding option guys now the default bidding the suggested bidding is mentioned over here and i usually go with uh the bidding which is on the extreme right which is the on the higher side it's just that initially i don't want to lose any chance of showcasing my ads on several locations and the other option which is right underneath the bidding option guys is the popular videos bid adjustment now there are certain videos which google defines across as popular videos all right they have their own definition of popular videos if you want to make sure that your video ad gets shown across before a popular video then uh, you can go ahead you do have the ability to go ahead and increase the increase the percentage or all right increase the bid percentage so let's say i can go ahead and put in across 10% bid adjustment over here now all the other options guys with regards to targeting works similarly over here the way it worked across on to uh, display ads all right so the targeting options with with display ads are over here also what I, what is different over here is one small thing which i i'm just going to show you which is the placement so the placement part in the display we were able to showcase uh, we were able to select across the websites on which we can show in our display ad over here i can select across the specific videos before which my video ad can appear now i've selected this placement part i can click on to search for placement any specific uh, kind of videos before which you want to showcase your video ad mm chitane if you want to uh, if you got certain ideas around that you can let me know any specific set of videos like come I in mean, should i select for colleges all right yes all right so here are certain colleges uh, their youtube channels are mentioned over here i can select certain youtube particular videos also or i can type in colleges in hyderabad let's see if there are that's going to be precise targeting if i can get certain videos around that let's see how lucky are we i mean would be get all right so all right so there are quite a many so top 10 engineering colleges in hyderabad this looks good top engineering colleges in hyderabad to part 2016 and uh, this one looks good nizam college guru nanak college st marsif or right, so as you can see they all are your competitors right so whenever your competitors videos are really going to be uh, run across or you know generic videos also what is what's going to happen your video ad will run before that all right so you can select more of this so this is some option guys which i love the most similarly you can select even websites and mobile apps on which your ad your uh video ad can really appear sorry your yes your video ad can really appear across so you know all these websites which i mentioned over here like hyderabadjunction.com 
on Hyderabad Junction, if there would be any YouTube video embedded across, uh, whichever video will run over there in that YouTube embedded player onto Hyderabad Junction, your video ad will come across as a pre-roll ad, as a in-stream ad. And Chaitanya says, if we select our competitor video, then it runs before that. Absolutely. Before your, before your competitor's video, your video ad will run. All right. So, hope that helps. The other options, guys, remarketing, keywords, topics, they are the same as what we have covered across in the display part, all right? So I'm clicking on to done. All right, and then clicking on to save ad group. That's it, we are done. The last thing which you can do if you have got the access. If you've got the access, then if you can get across the you know, username and password for your YouTube account, you can go ahead and link across your YouTube account with your AdWords. That will give you some more extra information about how your ad is performing and so forth. Hope it makes sense. Any questions so far? Goresh, Chaitanya, are you good? All right. Perfect. All right, now the next thing guys, all right, so demographics is actually on for all the age groups. You can go ahead and make changes to it, uh, Goresh and, uh, oh sorry, Chitanya, whichever one you want to. So I've shown you only one particular section of targeting, which is the placement part. Is that something which is more exciting out of all of these? Now the other one which we'll create across is the video discovery. All right, so a new video campaign we can start with. All right, so I'm clicking on to plus new campaign again. And clicking on to video. All right, so this one, it's gonna be a test video discovery. Now it's gonna be video network again and standard. Plus, do I want to load across any settings from the existing video campaign? I can do that. So just to be quick, I can load it across from the test video campaign again. So what's, what all things are going to be copied across over here is things like, you know, the budget, the bid, and so forth. Now, I have chosen across in-stream and video discovery ads again, but this time what's going to be different is instead of in-stream, I will be choosing across video discovery. And if you remember, there are four options, sub-options sub underneath the video discovery, right? So let's move further. Video discovery, bidding, budget, delivery method, network, it's all the same. The location, language, devices. So there is nothing different over here. It's all the same. I'm clicking on to save and continue. What's gonna be different is only the end thing, as in the formation of the ad. All right, so I have to go ahead and uh, punch in across the video URL. All right, so here the uh, here's a different route which we're going to be taking across this time. Instead of uh, going ahead and choosing the in-stream one this time, I'm choosing across a video discovery ad this time. Now there are certain options guys, which are going to be different over here as we have all un already understood that there are four major subsection of video discovery ad and that's what you can see over here. 
Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take across a screen graph for this one also. Just give me a second. All right, so it says your video discovery ad includes an image. If you read this out, it says your video discovery ad includes an image and some text. It can run on YouTube search results, right? Next to the related videos on the YouTube homepage or on partner sites or apps. This ad will show differently depending on the website, right? Depending on the website or where on YouTube it appears. You pay only when someone clicks your ad to watch. So this particular thing works across on per click guys. All right. With bumper ad, it was the cost per thousand impressions. With in-stream ad, it was cost per view. And over here, it's a cost per click. All right. And here are the four options, guys. Those four subcategorization, if you remember which I spoke about. So you can show it across on YouTube search results, on YouTube related videos, which comes on the right hand side, as a YouTube overlay, and on partner sites. Now this is to do with all the different kind of uh, video discovery ads. All right, so if we talk about the related video example, the related video one was over here, this one on YouTube related video. And then after that, we understood the overlay ad. The overlay ad as in the banner ad, which is this one. All right, so this is what we understood in regards to overlay. And then there was a YouTube search result. Onto YouTube search results, your ad can appear. And this is the first one, which is a YouTube search result one. Plus the last one was on the partner sites. All right, so I've given across screen grabs in this particular doc. If you want, I can send this across doc, the updated doc again. All right, so I'm moving back further and we're starting with uh, the first, I mean, we'll be using across all the four options. All we have to do is we have to just create across one form of an ad. So I can pick and choose one of the image as a what do you say, a thumbnail image? So I've chosen this. Let's say my headline. All right, so you can change this at any given point of time. Now the landing page guys in video discovery ad cannot be a URL of uh, your own landing page. All right, so the moment somebody is gonna click onto these video advertisement, you will not be able to drive 
that particular visitor who will be clicking on your ad towards the towards a towards your one of your landing page which is part of your uh, website that's not possible what you can do is either use across the channel page as your landing page or the video watch page as your landing page all right the video watch page or the channel page if we talk about the channel page is like this so this is a way a watch page okay this is a watch page where the video gets watched and the channel page is the page all right so this is the name of the channel and i'm opening across the channel page so I, you can have any of these so this is a channel page either you can go ahead and use this as a landing page url or you can use across this page as your landing page url only these two options are there so i'm picking and choosing this watch page all right i am picking and choosing across the watch page and here you go i've selected that and now comes in the ad name bidding option so the bidding over here they're asking in cpv but in actual it's going to be counted across as the cpc <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i'm not sure why is this happening why it's not coming in cpc earlier it used to be on cpc on me guys they've actually changed it somehow okay i'll i'll look into that then you can increase across the bidding uh for certain popular videos and then the same targeting options guys are over here you can go ahead and uh, include across targeting of your choice all right so i'm using across on the one targeting options which is the placement one All right, so you can go ahead and add across uh, whichever videos you feel like is good, and so forth. All right, so what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to go ahead and save across this, and we are done with both the form of different advert advertisement guys, the in stream and also the video discovery, the bumper ads are. <coughs> one second <coughs> excuse me all right the bumper ads guys works very much like the in stream ads only <coughs> i'm sorry about that the only difference in bumper ad and the in stream ad i've already told you uh the pricing mechanism where it, are they going to be shown across while the formation of the bumper ads you do need a 6 second video or less than that that's the only thing if you do not have that it will not let you create it google adwords will not let you create across google adwords will not let you create across a video ad till the time you do not have a, a bumper ad till the time you do not have less than that all right so that brings us to the end of <clears throat> this brings us to the end of uh, the video ad guys tomorrow we going to get started with the mobile which is going to be the last thing in google adwords and then we'll be done with uh, google adwords tomorrow so the last thing is going to be mobile all right So any questions any doubts you have feel free to put that across Koreshan Chetanya so that I can go ahead and answer that respectively Are we good Koresh Chetanya or right, no further questions Okay you're good how about you Koresh
All right, so many uh, questions in there. All right, so what we're going to do, we'll then meet across tomorrow, same time, and we'll start with the uh, mobile app campaigns, all right, which we'll take tomorrow. And then we'll be done with Google AdWords. And then next week, we'll start with the other modules, uh, email marketing, social media, and so forth, all right? So thanks so much. You'll be shared across the recordings and so forth. We'll be meeting across tomorrow, same time, and we'll take it further from there, guys. All right? Take care till then, and thanks. Have a great day ahead. And take care then. Bye-bye. Bye now, guys.